the 300, let me, let me get that exact number, $365,399.08 <laughs> mysteriously spent. We have no idea on what. Uh, and one of the devices for doing this, as you point out, is a remarkable string of charges for $199.99, since $200 is the point at which you must report with specificity what you spent the money on. That is correct. Yeah, this is a, a fascinating. This is just another example of the ways in which uh, you know George Sanders has continued to test our political and you know campaign finance system. Um, you know, it, it was you know this is not something that gets a lot of attention. Looking at unitemized expenses, there's actually not a lot of rules about it. There's no cap on how much money candidates can spend. You know, there's just this rule that after you spend two hundred dollars with a single vendor, you have to itemize it and you have to provide a receipt. Um, and uh, so, you know, there have been a number of really kind of, you know, mysterious things that we've seen in George Santos' spending. Um, you know, these $199 expenditures, you know, some of them lavish spending on hotels. Um, but there was this very peculiar pattern that was uh, identified actually by the Washington Post back in April of 2022, when he amended all of his filings uh, to show that he'd spent hundreds of thousands of dollars more than he had said in the initial versions. Um, and, you know, he addressed a lot of these filings to Anonymous, which was also very kind of mysterious. Um, the FEC noticed and they asked him to kind of correct it, which he did. Um, but what he did was that he just sort of removed those filings completely and they were folded into this big bucket of unitemized receipts, um, which just continued to grow and grow and grow to reach this $365,000 number uh, that you said this uh, earlier today. Now, in, in normal situations uh, in this era, Candidates don't have much to worry about from the FEC. This wasn't always true. Uh, 20 years ago, they had much more uh, enforcement strength than they do now, uh, but it has declined dramatically. But the Justice Department has said to the Federal Election Commission, please hold off on your investigation. We want to investigate him criminally. So that raises the stakes here for George Santos. That's that's true. Um, the FEC, you know, in their credit, has has sent no, numerous letters to him identifying there are really just tons of irregularities in these campaign finances, um, and they've caught many, many, many of them. This just happens to not be an area that gets a lot of scrutiny. There's a lot of attention paid to the money that's coming into politics, rightly so. We want to know, you know, who's influencing our elections. Just not as much uh, attention paid to spending because, you know, generally these things kind of work themselves out. If candidates are not spending their money wisely, they don't win. Um, uh, however, in this instance, you know, there, there seemed to be something that kind of slipped through the cracks. And, and what you can really see by comparing George Santos' spending to that of other candidates is just how much of an outlier it is. Uh, I think, you know, so compared to the 365000 that he has in unitemized, kind of totally unaccounted for expenditures, the second highest, I think, is $22,000. Um, and that's uh, House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, who obviously ran a much, much larger campaign, has a lot more responsibilities. Um, you know, there are many uh, candidates or many uh, House, you know, members who have almost no money in un unitemized expenditures.